Good very early morning everybody from here at the Knott's Berry Farm Hotel in Southern California. We're just coming off a week of hanging out with family, doing Disneyland, Universal Studios Hollywood, Knott's Berry Farm. Early mornings, late nights, go all day having a great time and making memories with family. But today we're taking this beautiful scenic drive through the desert on the Interstate 15 and a couple of other roads and we have some iconic and really cool stops planned. But first, we need some coffee, and then we're gonna hit the road and do a little Southern California to Nevada road trip. When we first checked in, our windows were covered. They're doing renovation here at the hotel, and they're still working, they're painting and stuff. So I just got startled by that outside the window. So the drive itself is about four or five hours, but we have some fun stops planned, like I said. So let's hit the road. The bulk of this drive will be on the I-15, heading from California to Nevada. And I think we're getting on it now, huh? I'm excited. Here we go. But soon, the scenery is going to change dramatically. Well, I don't know how soon, but it, but sometime. Right now, highway. The climate is changing pretty dramatically. We've got these beautiful hills. And look, these are like in the mist and the clouds. That's really pretty. Our first stop is going to be Route 66 attraction. Something very interesting we wanted to see. About 15 minutes. Yeah, Route 66. Historic Route 66. Oh, I missed oh, yeah, that. Look, ah, oh, cool. Yeah. This is a train track up here. They're all just in the desert, yeah. like. Uh, no, don't see any bottles. Okay, three miles ahead. It's a house. That's too close. It is a house. <laughs> yeah, that's gotta be it. Oh, look at all the, how cool. Where did I go? The first stop today is Elmer's Bottle Tree Ranch. This was all created by one man who sadly passed away in 2019. He welded these metal trees and there are over 200 of them and covered them in glass bottles. There are all different kinds of glass bottles. There are green, blue, all different colors. Some of them look vintage. There's all sorts of like gears and fans and chimes and things all over them. We can already see many other tourists here as this is a popular Route 66 stop and we are just so excited to be here and look around at this man's creation. It, it's just so interesting, right? Seeing these like works of art basically, public works of art, and guests are welcome to come here and walk around and enjoy it and yeah. Look, some bones, Sam. Uh, like some of them look modern and some of them look older. Some of them sort of look like depression glass. I think it's cool that there are so many other tourists here too. There's tires and like, I guess stoppers and all sorts of things. It's like a bed frame. Oh, look, a boat. Sam, there's a bottle boat. Oh, a typewriter. It's fascinating, right? It really is, like. Oh, what's this? Oh, look, there are even bottles in the floor. Oh, look, uh, like geodes. Oh, look at this one with the stoplight on top. Wow. Route 66, Baghdad, California, 1883. Wow. Is that just a purse? Okay. Oh, there's a whole car in here. Yeah. Oh, wow. 
surfboard. It's like you don't even know what to look at. A yeah. guitar, because there's just so much. Weather vane, an old Pepsi Cola sign. What's this? I don't even know. Ooh. And then what's back there? Is that the house? I know he lived, oh, more bones. I know he lived here. Nice little sink here. Bubble gum machine. This says, rocks, take one. I don't think I'll take a rock, but you can if you want to. Things like this, what I love about them most is that it is just giving people art and interesting installations and not asking for much in return. We're gonna look for a donation box because I heard there was one. Always appreciate public works of art, especially just very interesting and different and yeah, weird ones. But the weirder the better, I love it. Looks like we found the sheriff around these parts. Oh wow, yeah. That does look like a missile. Oh, here we go, here's the donations. Nice. Make a wish on Highway 66. Oh, I love that. Oh look, cat, owl. Well, this is a very cool first stop and just one of a few we're making today on this drive. I think we're gonna keep on moving because we've got more stops. This makes me start thinking about what's gonna be for lunch. Maybe that'll be our next stop. All right. Oh, I, I would get you a nice cold beverage, but I think we're out of bottles. <laughs> All right, cool. That's awesome. Nice. <laughs> All right, we're back on I-15. Got a couple more stops, but next up I think I think it's time for some lunch. Hey look, there's a sign for a diner. Maybe we'll stop there. Look at how the scenery's changing out here. Here we go. Ghost Town oh, Road. All right, we're almost there. It's just a few minutes away from Peggy Sue's diner. Look, it says Vegas Truck Stop. Huh. Not quite. There it is. Whenever I hear Peggy Sue, I think of the movie Peggy Sue Got Married. Next stop is Peggy Sue's, a roadside diner. The theming here is a nifty 50s diner. Peggy Sue's Diner, welcome. And we get welcomed by Betty Boop. Follow the yellow brick road. Look at the pies, they look good. I love a menu that has the story of the restaurant on the front. So it talks here about how it was built in 1954 with nine counter stools and three booths and sits in the shadow of the Calico Mountain. I think we have an animated American icon behind us, Miss Betty Boop. I keep nice. thinking someone just stood there in like the corner of my eye. Wait till the rest of our party sees the women's restroom. Quite a surprise in there. Quite. It's a surprise. Oh my god, I don't normally film restrooms, but this scared the, <laughs> the ever loving everything out of me. I was like, oh no, it's it's not real. But this is in the woman's restroom, and it scared me so much. I love it, even the bathroom's themed. To start out with, we got some fried pickles, because anywhere that offers fried pickles, you gotta have fried pickles. You got to, oh my gosh, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, welcome. These are perfectly fried, juicy pickles. Just, they really hit the spot. Got this, I love Lucy's section. 
I used to love watching reruns of I Love Lucy and look at the doll they have. It's divided up into sections showcasing different movies and actors and actresses. I got the Audrey Hepburn. This is turkey, bacon, Swiss cheese, and sliced tomatoes on sourdough bread with curly fries and coleslaw. And what did you get? I got a King Kong burger. It looks massive. It looks huge. <laughs> Let me turn the plate around. Let me see the other side. Oh have, boy. This is... It looks great. Mm. I'm so excited. It's all so good. It's so good. Coke float. With extra coke. Oh boy. So what this is baking. Okay. We got our own blues mobile, but ours has a sunroof. Love that. And here are some articles about Peggy Sue's golden age of rock and roll comes alive. I'm loving it so far. Got the Elvis table over here, that's cool. Got like a Marilyn shrine here. There's also a whole shop attached with even more fun stuff and ice cream and just everything. Disney princesses and a friendly ice cream scoop. Hey, Mr. Brad, what's the fanciest cheeseburger I could possibly order? Oh, this one? Oh, wow, actually. Ooh. Oh, oh wow. Pretty pretty good, Only jeweled Brad. cheeseburger. I can yeah. see why they keep it employed here. Did a good job. Yeah. Everybody loved what they ordered. It was actually really delicious, and the food is just as good as how cool and fun it is in here. But there's one more piece we have to see before going the Dinosaur Park. Oh, that's not it. Come on, Sam, let's check out the Dinosaur Park. Dinosaur. Anytime there's dinosaurs, I'm there. I don't see them yet, though. Oh, I think I see one. This is pretty, though. There's one. Ducks. Oh, there's another one. There's a guy hanging. Oh my gosh, he looks like he is hanging on. Look at these little bridges you can walk across. He looks like he barely escaped with his hair. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, you know what? Halloween year round. This looks like it could be like a little golf course or something. Isn't it cute? Oh wow, look at this one. Oh my gosh. It's like King Kong and Godzilla over there. Those are some well-fed ducks, I gotta say. Do not feed the dinosaurs. Dinosaurs were a very popular roadside thing from back in like the 60s. They still are. Because basically, they would call in drivers from the road. You know, come on in. Come take a look around. Oh, it's closed. Oh look, it still has these signs up. Huh. Well, there is a massive gift shop inside, so no worries there. Oh, wow. We got more, Sam. I love it. He wants some food. I bet you he does. Aw, cute. Look, they're all coming. They're cute though. Yeah, they're real cute. It's like a stage out here too. It looks like they could do a little show. What a show. Here's our check and we'll pay up at the counter. This place is so much bigger than it looks. There's just room after room after room. And look out there, right across the way is Calico Ghost Town, which we're gonna pop into next. So cool. Hey, I got a sandwich named after you. All right, back on the road. Turn right onto Ghost Town Road. Very, very. campground and we have a, a brochure and map firehouse 57 all right here's a parking area <laughs> the brochure also has some history here it started in 1881 as a mining town for silver and then eventually silver 
lost value and it became abandoned. And later it was purchased by none other than Walter Knott of Knott's Berry Farm and he restored it to be the ghost town it is today that we're about to find out what it's like. And it looks like there are a few remaining original buildings. Let's go explore. There were 22 saloons here at Calico in its heyday. Some great, great views here too. Whoa, oh, be careful. It's a cool, I've heard there's silvers in these hills. Hmm, them there hills. <laughs> I heard silver ain't what it used to be. Let's go find out. Mm, let's go see what we can find. Stagecoaches and buses only. Diddle -diddle so right up here on the front, there's some signs here. You can donate to help maintain, restore, and improve historical, cultural, and recreational facilities. A list of some of the shops. 1881 largest silver mining camp in California to 1896. The Calico Park Office is listed as one of the original buildings here. Let's have a look. Shooting maps sold here. Can we go inside? I don't know. Let's see. Um, oh yeah. Kind of like haunted mansion wallpaper. Across the way we've got the leather works. Calico house. Calico Woodworks. There are some other tourists here, but it kind of is like a ghost town, which is cool. Fiddle all day. All right, I will. Town Hall, check this out. Calico lives again under the auspices of Knott's Berry Farm. Buena Park, California buildings shall be rebuilt on their original sites. Oh, what was that? One thing I'll say about the desert, it's dry. My mouth has never felt so dry. Hopefully we can find a sarsaparilla or something, water, anything. We're gonna take some pictures with this, but I think I'll just, I'll just hide right here. Can you see me? <laughs> Good enough, right? Shade. It's a hot joke. Lane's General Store is another one of the original preserved buildings. And by original buildings, they mean mostly the outside. Obviously the inside is all restored. And then the buildings that aren't original are recreated to look like the original buildings. Oh, look at this, Town of Calico. Centered about the Town of Calico, the Calico Mining District with a peak population of 3,000. It was a silver mining town and borate. Bor borate, hmm. It's a California historical landmark. Cool. Yeah, let's do it. Mystery Shack. Simply amazing, amusing, and confusing. Hello, Pappy. Harry, should we see the mystery house? All right. We can't come all this way and not do the mystery shack. It's the best thing down here in California. Heard? We gotta do it. So what is it? Uh, it's four fifty per adult. Okay. Come on down, see a two pounds. Pull them up the collusion. We'll leave it in two minutes, folks. I like how he kicked the rock there too. <laughs> Torture you folks, let's get up on this side of this place, alright? Now wait for me at the end of the hall, I'll be right behind you folks, alright? Okay, thank you. You're very much welcome, and it does take guts to be an thank organ donor, folks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa. Now this house used to belong to a man named Harry Dover. Harry Dover was a miner up at the Silver King Mine, the one with the big old calico on it. Now you folks know what a miner is, right? Yeah, it's someone just like me, under the age of 18, or you know what, it's <laughs> precious minerals, but that's besides the fact. And on that day, he built this house to match his angle and compensate for the couple inches he lost in that mine, folks. <laughs> okay, quit that job at the mine. He devoted all of his time to this here mystery shack and tricking folks just like y'all. We'll watch water go uphill one more time. Usually folks only get to see this magic happen once. Now Whoa. look at that, not too bad, folks. Now you know what, let's go up inside this mystery shack and we're gonna see what else Harry was up to, folks. Now come right. on inside, Thank you. Oh my gosh. Oh, I feel like I'm falling. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my god, this is horrible. This is crazy. Oh my god. Lean back with the angle of the house, it is so much easier. Oh yeah. Here, folks. Now oh. you guys kind of all look like Michael Jackson. We got ourselves a <laughs> spare. Wow. That's super easy going up. Oh. <laughs> so let's grab the little back of the thing and everything. Is that going to be a pool? 
Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now you want to go back down for me? Tell me which one's easier. Ooh, oh, you yeah. look like a calico twerk on that thing, man. Yeah. Oh, now look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Egypt now today because I don't know what this place is. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. It came nearly inches to coming up in that day. Never ever won. Crazy. <laughs> now on the left is old Harry Dover himself, the man, the myth, the legend. And on the right is his wife. Can you folks guess his wife's name? Folks can't guess his wife's name. Come Mrs. on now. It's Eileen, folks. Eileen Dover. <laughs> you really have to like. <laughs> it's not easy. From a very good friend of hers to where she never forgot where she was. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now look at that, y'all. Know everyone asks me, Chef, how do you get this thing to stand up on its own? That's pretty impressive. Well, I got this broom from a very, very good friend of mine. His name was Harry Potter, and this thing has been working for years <laughs> since. I know I got something a little bit better than Harry Potter. This old Harry Dover. Chair. Old Harry never let anyone sit up in this thing. Didn't let his wife sit in this chair. Didn't even let his own son. I didn't mention how he have a son, did I, folks? <laughs> no. no. Can you folks guess his name? Uh, you folks can't guess his name. Come on. Boss man, it was Ben. Ben Dover. Exactly. <laughs> legs together. Arms on top of your legs. Try and get by that cheerful man. Yeah, it's all happening. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, boss. Oh my yeah, God. You know what? That's the same face I make when I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> I'm going out of this first part now. Oh, look at that day. <laughs> I want all of you folks to ask me how that faucet works. All right. One, two, three. How's the faucet work? And not a foul ball with your folks. Thank you. That was a lot of fun. Be careful of uneven ground conditions while walking. Hyena House Hotel. Does it go up here? Right, going up in elevation now. We're gonna go up to Lookout Point. Gotta really watch your step here. This way, I guess. And then there'll be a path. Oh, this is cool. Look at these views. I can hear the mystery house going again. All right, let's go. Ooh. Got a little bit of rocky terrain. Let's see, might want to put the camera away, but I'll keep trying for a minute. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. Not that bad. The small one, right? That one, not this one. That looks terrifying. What about that little one? Okay. Ah! Okay, no problem. <laughs> okay, let's go up. Whew. We're gonna we're gonna look out. Whoo! Whoa! Yeah. Yeah, we've watched some of these like YouTube videos of people go in the desert and look for miners, like old miner places. Excuse my huffing and puffing. That's cool. When you climb up the stairs, there's a lookout point up here. The views are spectacular. We're all up here taking turns. Great photo spot. You can see so far. And it's just, it's thankfully it's a really nice clear day. But yeah, this is, you gotta come up here. It's a nice breeze up here. Yeah, down there it is very, very hot. And up here, as you can see. <laughs> it's been a hit for everybody. Everybody, the whole family loves it. Yeah. We're so happy. Yeah. It's like good like memories, you know? Yeah, it's only open till five. Mm. So you could spend a good few hours here exploring yeah. everything. But it's almost time for us to hit the road because we gotta get to Vegas. We gotta get to Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. All right, Sam. All right, Ready? lead the way. Okay, be careful. Very careful. And they're uneven too. All right, here at the bottom is a thick drop. You gotta kinda, I don't know, get around somehow. Yeah. Where that? It's a nice little walk. I don't even think I walked off one pickle spear, right. to be honest, but it was still fun. What's in there? It's like a little rock. Oh yeah, it's like a little cave house. I'm like, like, what? Cool. We live down in here. Yeah. Oh, I love 
love it. Oh, that's a nice shirt. Oh, cute. Oh, yeah, I can get some cowboy hats. Ooh, lots of fancy sodas. So these ones are... Cheers. Well, I can't because I gotta put the marshmallow in there. Oh, yeah. Lucy Lane's house is another of the original structures here. And you can see the difference in the original and the recreated. Like in the walls. The way it used to be, this museum was created in order to outline for you the atmosphere of that small part of the Old West, which was called Calico, and which flourished as a boomtown through the years 1881 through 1896. Original site of Lucy Lane's home. You can see the walls, everything. It just has a very different look than the more modern buildings. Lane General Merchandise. And here's, I guess, what it would have looked like. So it would have had a finished ceiling. Huh. They even have some pieces of furniture. And of course, a creaking wooden floor. You can just picture living in here, you know? Indoor plumbing was unheard of in the early days. Huh. Like before he started doing that, oh. the 60 buildings. Uh, Those were, yeah. Before Walter Knott started uh, reconstructing. There's a train! I don't think that's a saloon. I think that's a trick. <laughs> you could do like old timey photos in here. That's cute. Little Saloon is also one of the original buildings. I've always wanted to walk through one of these. Well, I have it not very far, but. Look at the cards. <laughs> Oh, you can get pizza. Hi. Oh, that's so pretty. No Old West attraction or town is complete without a blacksmith shop. Closed today, but I'm sure some days open. These carriages here. Everywhere I go, it just reminds me of Fallout New Vegas. <laughs> like, one of the best games ever. Mm. <sighs> just like it. <laughs> this is so much fun, we love it. Everybody who works here is really fun and sweet too. There's a few other tourists wandering around, but it is kind of like quiet, like ghost town which is kind of cool too. There's so much more to do and see here also. We walked around quite a bit, but we are on a schedule because we got to get to Vegas because we got more plans coming up and we actually do have a few more stops on this road trip. So let's hit the road. The historic I-15. Out the abandoned water park, Lake Dolores, Rockahula, it went by different names. Look at all the stuff just abandoned there. Look at the building right there, like at the left side. Well, the drive's been going really smoothly. We 
we've just been looking out at all the scenery and suddenly we've come across a delay. It looks like an accident or something up ahead and we're heading into a slowdown. Hopefully it's not too much of a slowdown. It looks like we're coming to a complete stop. Looks like it's like way up ahead. I can see it still. All right, easy peasy. We got through. It was just a five minute delay. And over here to the right is like sandy, like desert, desert, you know? Desert, desert. Pure desert. Pure, unfiltered sand. Mojave visitor information. So now we're passing through the Mojave Desert. Yeah, it's a giant thermometer. Definitely feels hotter than 85, right? Yeah. It's the world's tallest thermometer. A little rest stop, quick stop. Donkeys? I see them. Oh my gosh. And then there's like a weird just thing. Donkeys. 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 Oh. And there's, see the one giant mirror like on a stick? There's a mirror on the floor and then it reflects into the beacon at the top. Up ahead, we're getting very close to the Nevada state line and you'll start to see casinos. And right up ahead on the right is Buffalo Bills. And Sam has a very interesting video on that. We're going to take a look at it as we drive by. You can see the coaster from here. Desperado. Desperado. Why don't you come Desperado is an aerodynamics hypercoaster. It's been closed since February of 2020. If it ever opens again, I hope I can come out and ride it. stop now that we're in Nevada look up here terrible so it's hell you know that's not the stop though it's but cool. it is very it does <laughs> it's like an outskirts of Vegas casino but the next stop is in just a few minutes I see them colorful sticks yeah they do they really stand out though against the backdrop there's like a dedicated parking area for it. Look at all the people that are there. Yeah, I'm so excited. See those sticks. We've arrived at Seven Magic Mountains. This is a piece of public art in the desert, just outside of Las Vegas. The artist is Hugo Rondidon, or Hugo Rondidon. And this was created in 2016, and it's meant to be symbolic of the distinction between basically the natural world and the bright and colorful highway and Las Vegas and all of that. Seven Magic Mountains is one of the largest land-based art installations in the United States. It pays homage to the history of land art while offering a contemporary critique of the simulcra in nearby Las Vegas. It's really interesting to look at because the seven sculptures are made out of boulders and they're over 30 feet tall. It said they were between 30 and 35 feet tall. And they're so striking against the landscape. Yeah. Like when you're over there, they don't look that big. Yeah. But now they are huge. Yeah. As we get closer, they look bigger and bigger too, right? Yeah. And we're kind of here around sunset too. I actually have to walk a little bit of ways back 
to kind of get them all in. And as you can see, there are seven totems here. High day glow, they're called. They're painted locally sourced boulders. They represent the meeting of the artificial and natural, the passing highway traffic and the surrounding mountains and lakes. And as you can see, there are a lot of people out here taking pics and appreciating them. I love this. And depending on where you're standing, the configuration looks so different. It's just one of those really iconic things out here in the desert that I've always wanted to see. But unless you're outside of Las Vegas, here in Nevada, or traveling this area for some reason, you know, they're on the way as you're driving into Nevada, but they're kind of out of the way too. So I haven't really had occasion to get out here and see them, but seeing them in person is very striking. They're very beautiful against the backdrop, also a little bit jarring, which art is supposed to be. I love that this is a free public art installation. There's free parking. You can hang out, take photos, and just be here. And the sun is going down over the mountains. It's about to be sunset, and we're about to drive into Las Vegas onto the strip. And this is kind of the last stop of the day, and I'm so glad we got to see it while the sun was still out. And the dry air out here is so dry <laughs> out in the desert. It feels so interesting and it's so different obviously to Florida where I'm from that I'm not used to it. It's interesting too because it was boiling hot all day and it gets cool at night and I can already feel the temperature starting to change. Check this out as the sun is setting right over there behind the mountain. We saw the sticks. So now I need to know which is your favorite. I think my favorite is this one with the green rock on top. There's just something about it. Even though it does kind of have a double pink, the bottom's a little more violet than pink. Um, there are some of them are just, they're all so interesting. Look at the three one here, the silver, black, and like, I don't know, maroon or mauve. And from the side, this one looks like a little piece of cheese, but from the front, looks like a differently shaped piece of cheese. This one's kind of cool though too. It's like a rainbow. So which is your favorite? And look at how cool this is. I've noticed that people have built their own little magic mountains all around the landscape. I love that. Oh, it's not that easy. It's not as easy to build as it looks. You did pick kind of a wobbly oh. piece though. Get a flatter one. Here we go. Yeah, maybe that'll work. Oh! Here's the newest one. Yeah! We've added to the landscape. We are one with the art. That's cool. I don't know, I right. think this was, this was awesome. I think it lived up personally. We got one more stop. Isn't it the hotel? Las Vegas. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> Buy seven magic mountains for now. Maybe forever. Well, well, they are closing or being dismantled or whatever at some point in the next few years. Not sure exactly when, but uh, we got to see them. We may see them on a future road trip again. And I'm glad we got here during the day because I feel like once the sun goes down, there's probably not much to see there, but I don't know. Hi. I, hi. I really, hi. <laughs> I'm starting to see big buildings and whatnot. And rising up out of the horizon, we begin to see buildings, billboards, lights. Look at all this. I don't know what it is. It's lights? A lot of lights.
right, we've dropped off the rental car and we're about to check in at the Mirage. Look at this big fish tank behind the registration desk. What a day! We really enjoyed everything we did and saw. That was so much fun and just a prelude to so much more to come in the future. But for now, we're here on a family trip. We're in Las Vegas. We have so many things we're gonna see and do, but in just a few short days. So we're just here for a couple of days and I'm gonna bring you along with us for some of what we experienced. I can already tell you, just coming in and like dropping off the rental car and coming up to the lobby and just walking downstairs for a little bit and looking out the window and just the lobby, the massive lobby of just this resort, it is overwhelming. Like there's just colors and lights, and noises everywhere. When you're inside, like you don't know what time it is. It's like a time warp. And even outside, it's like, there's just so much happening everywhere that I feel like this is gonna be a sensory overload. But we're excited to do something new and different. But for now, we are also very, very tired. We were out in the sun all day long, just baking in the sun. And I think we're gonna be doing it again tomorrow, but out here on the Vegas trip. So thanks for hanging out with us today. I'm sending you a ton of love. I'll see you for the next video. And until then, as always, stay in peace. Bye.